Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is the morning of Monday, February 24th, 2020, and I couldn't have picked a better day to finish off this series on real-time trading bots over WebSockets. Uh, I began a series on Sunday night and started planning for a down day today, and I was going to show how you detect a reversal pattern in the candles in the minute by minute candlesticks, and how you would build a trading bot that that uh, places a bracket order uh, based on uh, a some a series of reversal candlesticks. And so I'm gonna and I just uh, had a few minutes this morning, and I wanted to finish up this program and show you real quick uh, what we're going to do. So in the last video, I started building. Um, an aggregator of minute by minute candlesticks. And I actually started with Bitcoin data since Sunday. It was Sunday night and the market was open and I wanted to just capture some real time price data over WebSockets and Coinbase Pro allowed me to do that. And then I was gonna switch it over to stock market data today and modify the program uh, to work against the uh, Alpaca and Polygon uh, WebSocket data. And so I did that this morning and just ran this against my paper trading account and triggered a signal. So uh, I have very little time today, so I'll go over this in more detail in the next video, but I just wanna record this one while it was fresh on my mind. Uh, so what we did in the last video is uh, we connected to a WebSocket um, and it was for Coinbase data, but now I've switched this over. So I changed the socket over to alpaca.socket.polygon.io. And if you remember, um, we had uh, started, uh, so we authenticated against the WebSocket, and then we started receiving messages and receiving tick data. And so we were receiving each trade that came in and uh, the bid price and ask price, and we're seeing how that changed second by second. And so we had this real-time stream of data, and what we did is keep track of the different candlesticks in a list. And so we could keep track of like one minute or five minute candlesticks. And we gradually recorded and built up all of this data. Uh, and so we built a list of candlesticks and each candlestick had a minute. And then we kept updating uh, the high and the low price for that candlestick. And we recorded the open and the close for each candlestick. And then what we're going to do is uh, detect some type of pattern. So there's like a three white soldiers pattern here. Um, so if you look at this definition, uh, you need a downtrending stock, right? And then followed by three uh, green candlesticks or white candlesticks that are bullish. And so what we did was keep track of all these candlesticks. And then we updated the highs and the lows. And at the end here, we checked once there was greater than three candlesticks, uh, we started looking at the previous three candles and we wanted to see if the closes, there were three higher closes. And if there's three higher closes, that means uh, we can go ahead and make a trade. And then so for making the trade, uh, we actually want to see if we're not in the position yet. So we don't want to keep placing trades if we're already in the position. Um, and then what we said we we're going to do last night is we we're going to calculate the distance from the first candles open to the last candles close. And then we're going to choose a two to one ratio where we wanted to place a bracket order at the market price once we got our third candle. And that bracket order was going to uh, enter the position at the market price. And then we're going to take a profit at two times uh, the distance of this pattern. And then we were going to cut our losses at just if uh, price went back to the uh, opening price of the first candle. And I'll elaborate this. I'm gonna combine all this into one video since I'm kind of in a hurry at the moment. Uh, and I just wanted to get this out. And so, uh, what I did was run that this morning, and you see we were capturing uh, data for Apple stock, uh, so tick by tick, and I was building up these candlesticks until the price triggered based on the real action, and you can see it finally triggered here. Uh, so you see at, uh, at the 55th minute here this morning, 16.55, I guess that's UTC, t UTC time, uh, we had a close of 298.52, 299.58, uh, and then 74, and then our conditions here said uh, that the distance was 84 cents. And so we calculated that we would uh, take a position, we would take profit at 301.42 and sell for a loss at 298.90. I took the code from the uh, bracket order alpaca video that I made earlier. I put it at the top here, so I have a place order. And then I just send the profit price and the loss price that we calculated. And then I submit the order. And so you see we got a response. And then I just exited the program at that, uh, at that point. And I'm gonna clean up this code and post it in a little while. I just wanted to make sure that while the market was trending down there that I could uh, capture uh, these candlesticks and capture three candles in the reverse candle, in, in the reverse direction and place an order and show you what that looks like. And now I'm gonna show you in my alpaca uh, overview here. So this is the 
paper trading account. So there's a live trading account and a paper trading account. Uh, you see, uh, if you remember, uh, about at the end of the year, we went uh, bearish, I believe. And so you look in our order history, uh, we flipped and bought gold and shorted uh, tech. We went long volatility and also uh, we shorted the uh, small caps. And you see that looked dumb for like a month or two, but you see gold, uh, this JNUG, uh, went up dramatically with this volatility with the Dow down nearly a thousand points today. So that position's up $20,000. Uh, we have volatility way up, volatility up 23%, or UVXY is up 23%, and TCA is up. TCA is up. So uh, that's great. But the important part of this video not to show off about that, is that uh, we placed our Apple uh, bracket trade based on those uh, three reversal candles. And so we placed a market buy. So that third candlestick uh, was at 299.81. Uh, we placed that order and it filled. And then we also uh, placed a stop sell and a limit sell. And so we were gonna take profit if it reversed to 301.42. And then we have a stop loss in place uh, if the price went to 298.90 and you see the market is so bad today that Apple just even after those three bullish candlesticks it went down further and this order filled at 298.88 and so we actually lost on that trade a small amount but uh, we had our risk uh, clearly defined and we're already out and we didn't even have to watch uh, any of this happen so um so yeah, that's all. That's all for today. I just wanted to show you uh, the the conclusion um, where I modified this code to work with Alpaca WebSocket data, and then we detected a pattern based on the real time data and placed a trade, and we are already out of the position. So um, stay tuned for the next video. Um, by tomorrow, I think I should have time to finish this video out a little more and actually go through it step by step. But I was a little a little bit of hurry today because I got to get going. Uh, but you can see that I've, I was able to act. I was able to uh, test the approach that we started on Sunday night. Uh, so thanks a lot, and stay tuned for the next video.